revolution. Independent candidate Mohammad Garazi showed up at a polling station shortly after the polls opened. In an interview with our correspondent, the former oil and telecommunications minister said the ongoing elections in Iran are not about rivalry between candidates. He says all candidates are working as a team to encourage a high voter turnout. Reformist candidate Hassan Rouhani was also present among other voters to cast his ballot. At a press conference near a polling station, he said people with their high turnout in the elections hold the key to solving the problems in their own country. Principalist candidate Ali Akbar Velayati also voted at another polling station in the capital Tehran. During his presidential campaign, Velayati promised to fix Iran's economy once and for all, should he win the election. He has also vowed to resolve all outstanding issues with the West. Another candidate, Mohammad Bagher Ghalibov, has also cast his ballot. The principalist candidate, who has been the mayor of Tehran since 2005, has for his part set a two-year deadline for fixing the economy. He has also promised to forge closer ties with regional states if elected president. Principalist Saeed Jalili was also at a polling station south of Tehran. The Secretary of the Supreme National Security Council has promised to improve public welfare and follow the directives of the leader of Iran's Islamic Revolution. And finally, there was independent candidate Mohsen Rezaei cast in his ballot. Rezaei believes resolving Iran's economic problems should be top on the next administration's agenda. He says if elected, he will go beyond the political lines and his cabinet will include figures with different affiliations.